good. Good, good. And everybody have a good Christmas, I hope. Yes, yeah. Good, good. All right. Well, if everyone will turn to Ephesians chapter 6. Just stand when you have it. Ephesians chapter 6, starting in verse 10. It said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, Take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching therefore with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Let us pray. Lord, I just want to thank You again for this opportunity, Lord, to, to come back out to Your house, Lord, and to, to be in Your presence and to be together, Lord. And I just ask that You would just be with all of us here and be with the ones that can't make it, Lord. You know each and every reason and each and every need that they have, Lord. And Lord, I just ask that You have Your way in this service, Lord. Just ask that You would have Your way and You would do what You would see fit, Lord, for each and every one of us. Lord, I am nothing without You and I can do absolutely nothing without You. In Your name we pray. Amen. Amen. This is Scripture that I hope is familiar to everyone. Uh, it's the whole armor of God. And I, you know, I've, I've heard this preached I don't know how many times in how many ways. Um, but, you know, sometimes we kind of overlook things because we get familiar with it and we go into the Scripture expecting it to say a certain thing. You know? Um, so hopefully... I can I can get across, Lord willing, what He has shown me in this. But it says, verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Yeah. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now here's, here's a verse that I think is as important as any verse in this Scripture. Okay? That we kind of overlook and... and I think a lot of us may not even quite understand. Alright, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brothers and sisters, what he's telling us right there is we're not fighting those people out there. No. They're not our enemy. Okay? They're, they're, we're not against them. Alright? We, we are against Satan and his army. Right. Not them. Right. We need to be out reaching them. Right. We need to be out trying to bring them in. Yeah. Not fighting against them. Yeah. Not looking That's down right. on them. Right. Okay? Because they are definitely not our enemy. Right. Because lest we forget, we were all there at one time. Right. Right. Because no one here was born saved. That's right. Okay? That's right. That's right. Verse 13 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor again. Mm -hmm. You know, because the Lord understands sometimes we just don't get it right the first right. time. We don't right. understand the right. first time. Right. All right? He That's said, right. You take on all of it, not yeah. just part of it, no. right. but you got to have it all. Yes, right. He said, That ye may be able to withstand the evil day right. and having done all to stand. Yeah. Amen. All right? Doing everything that we can. Yeah. Alright? That don't mean just doing part of it. Right. Just doing a little bit. 
but doing everything that we possibly can to stand. Brothers and sisters, I dare to say this is as evil a day as we have ever known. Okay? You know, I, I, was, I was studying on uh, Sodom and Gomorrah not too long ago. And, you know, I, I was reading it. I was studying I was like, Lord, there's no way they were any worse than the United States today. It's not possible. Okay? So why? Why? Did you bring your wrath upon them and you having us? You say it's just not your time. If we continue the way that we are going, we're not above God. He will and He can still in 2015, 2016, as great a nation as we are, bring us to our knees. That's right. That's right. That's right. He can. I promise you. He is still God. Yes, he, is. he is still in control. He can still do whatever He wants to do. Amen. And there's nothing that any of us can do about it. I don't care how great our army is. And we do have a great army. And I am appreciative for every man and woman that serves in our military. All right, It don't matter what kind of weapons we have. When God has had enough, wow. He will do whatever He wants to do. But verse 14 says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. That's basically equivalent to a belt today. Alright? And, and guys, the belt kind of holds everything together. Alright? Right? It, it, uh, the belt... The belt keeps a lot of mishaps from happening. Uh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Right, so the belt's pretty important. Yeah. Right, I dare to say. Yeah. And it says, with the truth. Well, I only know one truth. Yeah. And that's Christ. Yeah. Right? There, there is no other truth. Everything outside of Him is a lie. Right. Yeah. So, what that tells me is Christ is holding everything together. Yeah. 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 Right, we got to put Him on every day. Yeah. To hold everything together. Right. Yeah. Because without Him holding everything together, me at my best, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an addict. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And believe you me, yeah. addiction covers a lot more than just drugs. Yeah. Right. Okay? It does. Amen. Right. Without Him, I'm a thief. Yeah. I'm a liar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a gospel. Yeah. I'm a blasphemer. Yeah. I'm an adulterer. Yeah. I'm everything and anything at my best that is terrible without Him. Without Him. Thank goodness He holds it all together. Thank goodness. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, yeah. doing what doing what is right, doing what's holy, doing what He wants us to do. Right. Yeah. Okay, you know, the breastplate protects the heart. Right. Yes. Amen. Right. That's right. Amen. You're right. Oh, yeah. It does. Yes. I never thought about that. Yes. Many times that I've read this scripture, you know, I've never thought about that. But the breastplate protects the heart. Right. Yes. The heart's extremely important and for a lot of reasons. Yes. Okay, first off, you take out the heart, well, everything else stops. Alright? Right. Right. First and second off, sin gets in your heart, everything else stops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? We don't like to talk about that. Right. We don't like to think no. about that. Yeah. Come on, that's right. But once sin creeps in there, right. yeah. Yeah. Come on. it builds a bridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay? Right. It does, and that's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We don't understand, I don't think, how dangerous it is yeah. for that sin to build a bridge between us and God. Right. Yeah. Okay? And am I saying that you won't go to heaven? No, I'm not saying that because we all sin, we all fall yeah. short right. of God. Okay? Right. We do. But the difference is what we allow that sin to do. Right. Okay? Yeah. Do we confess it automatically? Do we get rid of it? Or do we allow it to start controlling our lives? Okay, because that's when it starts building a bridge. Yeah. That's when it gets right. control of the heart. Okay, that's why the Bible says that two cannot walk together unless they be right. agreed. All right, yeah. 
Sin and the Holy Spirit cannot cohabitate the same place. Can't do it. All right? They don't agree. God does not agree with sin. The Holy Spirit, part of the trilogy, does not agree with sin. All right? The, the Bible also says man cannot serve two masters. All right? He will love one, he will despise the other. We can't serve both. There's no riding the fence. Even though we like to think it, you know, it's funny that there's so many translations of God's Word. Yeah. You know, I don't know the arrogance of man that we think that God needs more than one time to get it right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But all that is, is someone read this and said, I don't agree with that. That's not what it's supposed to say. No. If that wasn't what it was supposed to say, then God would have said it a different way. Right. Okay? Right. He doesn't need me and you right. telling Him what He meant to say. Right. Alright? Right. So God only needs once to get it right. Yeah. That's right. And I tell you guys, I know I've said it before, you've got to be careful with these other translations yeah. because you change one word oh, can yeah. change everything. Yeah. Alright? Right. But the breastplate protects the heart. Right. which is extremely important. Said, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah, I think we, we look over this verse a lot. Yeah. Because you know what that means? It means we got to do some walking. Right. Yeah. All right? if, you, if you're putting on the, the shoes, then that means God expects us to do some moving. Amen. Right. Amen. He don't expect us right. to stand still. Right. He don't expect us to sit down. Right. He expects us to get up Go out right. and do something. Amen. Okay? Right. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put that in there. Right. But it takes effort. It takes effort on our part. You know, it's, it's our responsibility to go outside of these doors and to tell people about right. him. That's right. Amen. It is. That's what we're called for. Amen. That's what we're here for. That's right. All right? Does He have to have us? Absolutely not. But He chooses to allow us the privilege and the honor. And it is. Brothers and sisters, it is a privilege and an honor for an Almighty God to allow us to serve Him. You know, I saw this thing that said, God uses sinners like me and you to save Sinners like me and you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We forget that a lot of times, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, we we do. We uh you know the church, and I'm not talking about Caroline Gresham Holiness, but I'm talking about the church in general. Yeah. Has portrayed to the world something, you know, how, I ask so how does the world see the church? The world sees us as holier than thou. Yeah. They see us as self-righteous. Yeah. Yeah. Hypocrites. Yeah. Because we try to act like right. mm -hmm. we are better than everybody. Right. Come on. All right? That we do no wrong. Right. Okay? On. That our lives are not a wreck. Right. Okay, come on, let's be honest. Yeah, come on. All right, we're right. in a safe place right here. Huh. All right, let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay, one person sitting in here, including myself, say that we don't have something going on Amen. in our lives right now. Amen. Okay? Yeah, you know, I had I had a pastor one time when I first got saved. And uh, I love him to death, and I'm not, believe me, I'm not saying anything bad about him for this. Uh, you know, I don't agree with it. Brothers and sisters, Something else I'm going to say. Hey, just because I don't agree with you does not mean I hate you. That's right. That's right. Okay? Amen. That just means that we don't see things the same way. Right. That means that God has shown you something different than He's shown me. He, he has convicted you of something that right. different than He's convicted me. That doesn't mean anything. Right. Nothing. All right, churches are broken up over. Right. Families yeah. are broken up over. Right. You know, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. It just means that we see things a little bit right. different. <laughs> but He told me, I'll never forget, you know. Uh, he said, when you're giving your testimony, don't elaborate on the things that you have done. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? He said, you don't need to get into details mm -hmm. on, on what, you, what you've done. You know, 
it's okay to say, hey, this and that and, and different things like that. He said, but don't elaborate. Well, you know, that hindered my testimony for a long time. Uh, yeah. it, it really did. Right. And I'm not blaming him. I'm not. So don't, don't think that. Okay, right. I, I'm not. But the Lord really convicted me of that yeah. later on. He said, what if there's somebody sitting there that is That's going right. through That's right. the same exact thing that you were going yeah. through? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Why shouldn't you tell them? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I've been there. Amen. Let me tell you what God is doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Let me tell you. Because, guys, you know, Paul said, I'm the chief among sinners. Yeah. Yeah. That was only because I hadn't been born yet. Right. Okay? Right. I can promise you that. And I can also promise you, standing here as a witness before you uh -huh. today, that if God can reach low enough yeah. through the muck, yes, Lord, come on, through the muck to reach me, yes, yes. no one, and I mean absolutely no one, yes. is out of His reach. Amen. Right. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you did this morning. Yeah. Amen. All right. No one is out of his reach. That's right. And something else while we're on the church a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay? That we have portrayed to the world that is 110% wrong is that you have to clean yourself up before you can come to the Lord. <laughs> God, that is a lie straight from hell if there ever has been one. Because, first off, I couldn't have cleaned myself up if I tried. I tried. I tried over and over and over and never could. Okay? Until I finally brought it to Him. You know, we have to come to Him as we are. He will take care of everything else. Christ is the only one that can take something as black as sin, wash it in red blood, and make it white as snow. I can't do that. You can't do that. As much as I love Billy Graham, he can't do that. There's only one. Amen. We need to stop. Okay, we need to stop. We just need to love them and bring them in. Amen. Let Christ do everything else. Right. All right? He will show them how they need to talk. Right. He will show them yeah. how they need to dress. Right. He will show them what Amen. they need to do. It's not mine in your place you have, that's right. to judge them on that. Yeah. That's right. He'll take care of it. I promise Amen. you. I promise you. And He is the only one that can. Right. Yes, he is. It's the church's job. It's the church's obligation yes, it is. just to go out and get them. Amen. Amen. Just right. to love them. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? And bring them in. Because yeah. it's only love that will do it. Right. Yeah. Right. There's nothing else. That's right. That's right. You're right. Judging them won't do it. No. Talking down to them won't do it. No. No. Looking down there holier than thou noses at them yeah. will not do it. Amen. Right. Only love. Right. Amen. Only love. It says, and above all, taking the shield of faith, right. wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Mm -hmm. You know, the shield of faith. Faith is so important. Right. Yes. Yes. You know, faith is so important. And Sadly, it's something that so many of us lack right. so much right. of. You know, we have faith in God as long as things are going good. Oh, yeah. Come on. You know, oh, yeah, He's great. Woo! Yeah. You know, yeah. we're up here. We're doing that. But the first time that something happens mm -hmm. is gone. Yeah. Right. Gone. You're right. And we're like, why? Why, God? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why me, Lord? Why me? When we should be saying, why not me? Right. Right. Yeah, right. Why not me? Right. If I'm as strong as I want to think I am, yeah. then why shouldn't it be me? Right. Yeah. 
You know, back in ancient times, especially the Spartans, uh, the shield has always been important. But the Spartans would lock their shields. Okay? When they, they, they defeated armies that were so much bigger than them. Right. Mm -hmm. But they would lock their shields. And they were almost impenetrable. Mm -hmm. Because the guy standing right here wasn't worried about himself. He was trying to stand mm -hmm. for the guy beside him yeah. on right. each side. Amen. Right. That's right. He wasn't worried about him. Right. He was worried about them. Right. Right. All right. He didn't want to fail because of, for them. Right. Not for himself. They would have willingly give their lives for either man on either side of them. Right. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, Today is the day yeah. that we need to lock our shields. Yes, we do. Okay? We need to stand firm. Yeah. And we need to start worrying about the people around That's us. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Not ourselves. We've been selfish long enough. Yeah. Amen. Okay? We've worried about us long enough. Yeah. It's time that we start doing what God has called Amen. us to do. That's right. Amen. If we say that we are Christians, if we say what, that we are what we say we are, mm -hmm. then we need to do yeah. what we're called to do. Uh, Amen. Yeah. Today is the day. Right. Yeah. It says, And the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Amen. You know, I wonder why did He leave the helmet of salvation until the end. You know, I pondered on it. And I prayed about it. I was like, you know, that should be the first thing. Because honestly, without salvation, right. none of this, no, nothing else is possible. Right. 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 It's not. It's not. It, it, you know, this is not biblical. I can't prove it. This is what I believe. Okay? I believe that if he would have written the helmet of salvation first, we would have stopped. Yeah. We would have stopped right there. Yeah. We wouldn't have read the rest of it. We wouldn't have worried about the rest of it. Because today, we're so content with just salvation. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Once we get salvation, we don't worry about anything else. Yeah. Yeah. We don't try to put on it. That's why the church is so weak. Yeah. Yeah. All right? We don't try to grow. We don't yeah. try to cross it. Amen. Come on, okay? Yeah. All we do is we put on the helmet of salvation. I'm good. Yeah. Right? Right. Right. I'm not worried about whether anybody else goes. Yeah. I'm good. Right. We turn on the cruise control. We roll up the windows. We turn on the air conditioning in yeah. December. Okay. And we just cruise on in right. and we're happy with it. Yeah. Right. As that's not the way it works. No. Uh -huh. There was so much else here Amen. that we need to do. Yes. Okay? Yes. So much more. Mm -hmm. It says the only offensive weapon. Everything else has been for defense up until this point. Yeah. Okay? Because the Lord knows that the stuff's going to come against us. Oh, yeah. Alright? He knows it's going to come against us. So He gave us plenty to defend ourselves with. Right. Alright? says, but the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Right. Yeah. It's the only offensive weapon we need. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only one that matters anyway. Yeah. You know? But we have to know how to use it. Right. Okay? How do you know how to use a weapon? Practice. That's right. There's no other way. Yeah. Practice. Right. Why? How do we do that? Study. Right. <laughs> Study, not read, guys. Yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference in reading and studying. Yeah. That's why the Word right. says study to show yourself approved. Yeah. Right. It doesn't say, well, there is a translation that says read, but we've already been through all that. That's why it says study instead of read. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much more to study. Right. Studying, you get in there, you put an effort. Yeah. You actually have a longing right. to want to know. Right. Yeah. Okay? But you know, it says the Word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Right. And I know Brian touched on it a little bit. Maybe in a week or so ago. The reason that, that the Lord used the two-edged sword, I think, is because 
it cuts going in, yeah. it cuts going coming out, yeah. Yeah. and it will never leave you the same way. Yeah. All right? right? It never will. Right. It's not possible right. to be touched by God and be the same when right. you're right. right. No way. And if you notice, there's something else. There is not one piece of protection for the back. Right. Everything is for the front. The breastplate, the the uh, shield, the helmet. Everything is for the front. Why do you think that is? There's no victory in retreat. No. God doesn't expect us to turn around and run. He expects us to stand fast, right. hold firm, right. and push forward. You know, the line in the sand doesn't matter if you keep backing up. Right. 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 Okay? It doesn't. Right. Brothers and sisters, we've drawn the line in the sand yeah. and we've backed up enough. Right. We, right. We've done it so yeah. much and for so long we don't even know where the line started. Right. Right. All right? We, we've been pushed around. We, we've just rolled over and taken it right. for so long that we don't even know what we stand for. Right. Right. We don't. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, well, the persecution of the church ended after the book of Acts. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. Okay? Up until recently, we have just been privileged enough yeah. right. in this country that we didn't see it. Right. Okay? Amen. Because Christians have been persecuted all over the world yeah. the whole time. Right. We're just now starting to see it in our backyard. Right. Yeah. Okay? Amen. A woman was put in jail for standing up for what she believed. Right. A bakery was shut down yeah. for standing up for what they believed. Right. People were shocked. Not overseas. But right here in the United States, because of what they believe. That's right. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the enemy has brought the battle right. to right. our front door. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. He has. Yeah. He is standing there fully equipped with his army. Right. Today is the day. Yeah. 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 Sure is. Now is the time. Yeah. We have to decide. Right now, as individuals, mm -hmm. as a church, yeah. Yeah. as brothers and sisters in Christ, yeah. are we going to continue to back up? Mm -hmm. right. Are we going to hold fast? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to push forward? Right. Are we going to stand? Yeah. Are we going to be the warriors yeah. that Christ has called us to be? Yeah. I challenge every single one here today. All right, I want you to look deep. I'm, I'm talking to myself, okay? And I want you to ask yourself, am I doing everything that I can do for Christ? Oh, that's right. Am I being the warrior Come on. that Christ has called me to be? Amen. Come on. I'll go ahead and answer for me, no. Not even close. Alright? I'm not proud of it. But I'm not. Because I can always do more. I can always be more for Him. But I challenge you today to do that. And if your answer is no, I challenge you that today be the day. You know, it only takes one person. Right. One person. Every great revival in history started with one person that said enough. Right. I'm going to be sold out. I'm going to do whatever Christ wants me to do. Right. One person. Which spills over to one church. Right. Which spills over to one community. Which spills over to one county. Yeah. Which spills over to one state. Right. Which spills over to one country. Right. But it takes one. Right. Right. It takes one to stand firm. Yeah. Amen. Right. Say enough.
I'm going to be the warrior that God has called me to be. I love you. And thank you for this opportunity.